YouTube, what's good, what's good, YouTube, what is going on, what is going on, my Smell Good family, how y'all, man, hope everything is good, positive energy, positive vibes, all around you guys, headed your way, y'all know how we do here on the channel, positive energy only, okay, so we're here for another weekly fragrance uh, rotation video, all right, so uh, this will be covering the week of May the 8th, uh, special week for me. May the 8th was not only Mother's Day, but it was also my birthday, all right? So we're kind of recapping the week, um, starting off with that special day, all right? So before we get started, um, if you are not a member of the Smell Good family and you would love to be a member of it, all you gotta do is like, comment, and subscribe. Meet me down in the comments, and we can talk about what you love and what I love, and that is fragrance, okay? So, um, oh, also, more uh, Smell Good Family podcasts will be dropping this week. This week, the link will be in the bio uh, at some point this week, all right? So we are dropping more podcasts uh, from the Smell Good Family, okay? So I haven't forgot about that live stream either. Something took place where we weren't able to get it going, and uh, it's coming. It's coming. I would love to talk to y'all and, uh, you know, chat with y'all live, answer your questions, have conversation and everything like that. All right, so that is coming, all right? So let's go ahead and kick off this video uh, again. Uh, this is my weekly rotation for the week of May the 8th. All right, so I only have seven. All right, I had a very, very busy week. I wasn't able to, unfortunately, get to the gym like I wanted to, um, so I don't have any gym fragrances. And one of these fragrances were out the shower just all week long. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. On Sunday, on Mother's Day, all right, on Mother's Day, on my birthday, we decided to go with one I really, really enjoy. From the house of Chanel, all right, we have Allure Homme Edition Blanche. Allure Homme Edition Blanche. This is a beautiful fragrance, okay? Perfect for this time of year. Kind of a lemon meringue type of vibe. Of course, you got lemon, some sandalwood, uh, some vanilla in here. Just a fantastic fragrance. Um, I got a lot of compliments, man. Uh, my wife, my sister-in-law. Uh, my mom, my grandma, my grandfather. I got. I think I got to get him a decan of this because he was kind of stuck in his tracks. All right, when he smelled this. Um, but this is what I wore. Um, just love the scent. Uh, I haven't worn it in a while, and it's macerated quite well. Um, I don't remember it per uh, projecting, and even being as long lasting as it was as I wore it on last Sunday. So I'll be curious to get another run of this to see if that. Uh, performance repeats itself. So on Sunday, on May the 8th, we went with Chanel's Allure Home Edition Blanche. All right, love this stuff. This is great, great juice. All right. All right, next up on Monday, we had the day off um, and just kind of running around and, you know, running errands and, you know, the beginning of the week and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So on Monday, we went with a brand new fragrance, man. First time kind of wearing this. I just picked this up probably like a week and a half ago from the house of Banana Republic. All right, we went with Vintage Green. Whoop, almost dropped it. Vintage Green. All right, Vintage Green. So I absolutely love this fragrance. Absolutely love this fragrance. You get this, uh, of course, this green uh, dance uh, with the notes in here. You got some fig in here. I believe there's a tea note in here as well. Uh, maybe... Um, I, I definitely get the fig and the greens. I think it's a slight citrusy here. It might be some lemon in here. I'm not quite sure um, if that's lemon or but it's something citrusy in there. But I love this stuff. This is the fragrance I was saying at the beginning of the video that I wore out of the shower. Um, I, I wore it when I went to the barbershop uh, when I got off work uh, uh, one day last week. And uh, it's a decent performer. It is perfect for this time of year. When the heat gets a hold of this thing, it heats it up. Oh, man. It is great. I got this from my local Burlington. Um, yeah, my local Burlington, $23.99. These things used to be $19.99, but I guess with everything that's going on, uh, with you know the, the supply chain, you know, Banana Republic got to get theirs, or Burlington trying to get theirs, so they up the price, still worth it. If you can get a bottle of this, you guys, grab it. It's not what you think by the name, but you do get the green. I absolutely love it. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do a full review on this. Um, this is one of my favorite greens. One of my favorite greens. So on Monday, from the House of Banana Republic, we went with Vintage Green. Uh-oh. Every once in a while, you know, the camera wants to kind of do its own thing. <laughs> Vintage Green, okay? Vintage Green. All right, so let's go ahead and go into Tuesday, Tuesday, we return to the office from a great vacation. All right, and my second wear of this one, 
Um, I want to see it in a different setting. I have Ward out and about having fun on my birthday Eve, and I wore it to work on Tuesday from the House of Mancera. We have Intense, so Drap Buzzway. So Drap Buzzway, all right, that's what we got going on. All right, so it was different for me when I wore this to the office. Now out and about, um, it was great. You know, it was windy out and it kind of carried, uh, but inside of the office, at my, you know, in my office, at my desk, in a more controlled environment, this thing kind of set a little bit closer, okay? So I was kind of misled with its broad uh, projection and performance because I was outside and the wind was kind of going and, you know, like I said before, it kind of projected quite well, um, but inside it didn't do that. Um, it's still a strong performer. It lasts all day long, but it didn't project as much. This is a 45% uh, oil concentration with it being in a straight uh, deep parfum. All right, so I'm not saying it's weak. I'm not saying it's not worth having. I'm just saying that it's not gonna project, it's not gonna roar as you, as I probably led on um, in my first initial thoughts. I was so excited to get the video out, but when in a control environment, um, I got a different reaction from it. Like I said, still good, still great, still worth the purchase, but the projection, I learned a lot there. So on Monday to the office, got a couple compliments. We have Mancera's Intense. So drop Bozway. Bozwa, Bozway. All right. Next up on, what we at? Wednesday? Next on, on Wednesday, it had rained pretty good that Tuesday evening and it cooled it down, man. Weirdly, woke up that morning to go to work. It was like 56 degrees out, man. I was like, man, what's going on? So um, I switched up my fragrance and I went with this one. Now, this is a special fragrance to me because my brothers at, uh, you know, with Fragrance ENT, man, they showed me so much love on my birthday. I still can't believe that they did this for me. Uh, so my friends, Kevin said, uh, purchased this for my birthday, man, uh, from the house of Parfums de Marley. On a cool, unseasonable uh, Wednesday, we went with Pegasus Exclusive. Pegasus Exclusive. Yeah, man, so my homies, man, they show love, and this thing is an absolute beauty. Uh, they got me good. Um, I think it was vlog number two or vlog number three, we talked about this one, and um, I was kind of going back and forth, and you know, they said it was kind of hard to kind of see where I was at because uh, I, my, you know, I've been purchasing and you know, we all three got a lot of fragrances, but they hit it on the head here, man. So I'm thankful for my friends, my brothers. Uh, but I wore this on Wednesday to the job, and it just, it just outdid itself. So many compliments, attention was given to this fragrance. Um, I didn't even spray that many sprays, man. I know I'm part of the guillotine gang and choke them out, boys. But I got a lot of love uh, with this fragrance. You get that creamy almond, um, vanilla, um, you know, I think it's a slight oud in here. This thing is a beautiful fragrance. I can't wait till it gets cold again to really, really see what this thing can do. But it was cool enough to test it. So on Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, from the house of Perfumes de Marley, we went with Pegasus Exclusive. Pegasus Exclusive, all right? Great juice. All right, on Thursday, all right, on Thursday, yeah, on Thursday, got a package in from my friends over at Alexandria. Love the house, y'all know how I feel about it. I wear about one or two Alexandrias a week. Got a brand new one in uh, early in the week and decided to rock with it. So from the house of Alexandria, we uh, have Plum Lucky. Plum Lucky from the house of Alexandria. Now this one is a 60 ml bottle because I was very, very curious. All right, now this is an inspired version of One Million's, one, well, Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky. All right, now Lucky has been discontinued. Um, they're in the final stages. I don't think they will be producing any more bottles. So you better get your bottle now. I'm a huge fan of Lucky and I did that. I got a 200 ml on ice. I still got a good amount of my 100 ml, but I wanted to see what Alexandria was doing here and they hit it on the head. They hit it on the head. This is a 1 million lucky inspired fragrance. And the thing about this one is it lasts a little bit longer and it's a little bit more richer, believe it or not, than Paco Rabanne's 1 million lucky. So at some point, I'm gonna get 100 ml of this because I'm a little bougie when it comes to my fragrances, all right? I like my fragrance to be in 100 ml, but this 60 ml is gonna last me a long time. 
I mean, I got 300 mLs of warm and you're lucky. That's just a gotta have fragrance for me personally. So um, this worked well to the office. I wore, I got some compliments. It lasts for a good bit. I got about nine hours uh, with this one. I did overspray it. Um, even though it isn't a straight de parfum, I oversprayed it. Oh well, it's all good. It didn't let me down. Winner here from the House of Alexander. If you're looking for one million lucky and you can't find it, go with this one, guys. You won't be disappointed. From the House of Alexander, we got Plum. Plum Lucky. Plum Lucky. Good juice here. All right, moving into Friday. Moving into Friday. I talked about this on my affordable Aventus video a few days back, and we tested this out for the first time from the house of Armoff, all right? A finger magic for sure. We went with Club D Nuit's Intense Man Pure, wait, Parfum, Pure, Parfum, <laughs> something like that, Perfume, Pure Perfume, that's what we went with. So this is the latest version from Armoff. Uh, I spoke about how much I love the Aventus DNA, and uh, this is the newest of the collection. This thing is simply a beast wore to the office as i was spraying it i did tone down the sprays i was maybe six or seven sprays in and i was like d that's enough you're gonna hurt somebody and soon as i walked in the office heads turned no lie got a massive compliment to start off the day massive compliments throughout the day this thing lasts me all day long okay um i'm still going to test this review will be coming on this but this is the newest one from our moths Club D New Wheat Line Intense Man version, Parfum Pure Perfume, and uh, man, this is fantastic. This is fantastic, and we'll talk about it later, but this is what I wore to the office on Friday. Uh, intense, all right, Intense Man Pure Parfum Perfume. They have so many, all right, but I'm a fan of them, all right? And last but not least, on Saturday, we ran with another Alexandra. Rained all night, the night before on Friday night here. Cooled it off a bit. Start off the day with around 56, 57. And I said, why not? Let's test this one out. Test this one out from the house of Alexandra. We have Mr. Siage. Mr. Siage. All right, if we get that in focus there, I hope it is. <laughs> there it is. My camera tripping today. So this is an inspired fragrance from Joe Malone's Mirror and Tonka. Now that doesn't get talked about a lot, at least I haven't seen it. It's one of my favorite fragrances. I have a decant from it. So I was shopping online. I had a gift card for my birthday that I hadn't used and I was just, just trying to try some things that I had on my list and this was one of them. I said, you know what? I have that mirror and talker from Joe Malone to get anyway. Let me see what Alexandria got. And boy, am I glad that they did that. You get lavender up top, you get some mirror, you get some vanilla, some tonka bean, and some almond in this fragrance. The weather called for it, and uh, I was glad that it cooled down enough to get an experience. This thing is beastly, it's rich, it lasts all day long. It is 1A, 1B. The openings are slightly different, um, because I have a decant of mirror and tonka from Joe Malone, but after this thing starts to settle down, you cannot tell. You cannot tell. So um, for those who know about Joe Malone and the Mirror and Taka, if you're not really trying to spend that price, it's a little expensive, you can get you 100 ml of this and you won't be missing a beat, all right? Do I still plan on getting Mirror and Taka from Joe Malone? I do, all right? But this is gonna hold me just fine and I'm not gonna be in a rush to get it. So on Saturday, all right, on a cooler, unseasonable Saturday, we went with Alexandra's Mr. Siaj. Mr. Siaj. Dope name because it is a um, Siage Monster review coming on this later, all right? So, all right, guys, that was, those were seven fragrances that I wore uh, in my weekly rotation for the week of May 8th. Uh, some real nice ones, man, I debuted some new ones, um, got some good compliments, got some good wares out of it, and um, like I said, I enjoy doing this video weekly. I really, really do, and I'm glad y'all do, man, because y'all let me know, all right? Do y'all have any of these? Um, do you love them? Do you hate them? Do you like them? Do you not like them? How do you feel about these fragrances? Uh, do you want more information? Meet me down in the comments, smell good family, and we can definitely, definitely uh, talk about it. All right, so until next time, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys on the next fragrance video. Yo.